Alright everybody, this is my YouTube island stream. Um, got to keep this last week and I'm going to stream it today. Got to be developed and uh, for anybody who's watching on uh, Twitch for streaming this live. You can hit execution on the YouTube in chat. Uh, for those of you who will be looking at this later uh, on VOD, you'll be able to look at the description box down below and you'll be able to see the same information that people live that we can see. So, this game is an RPG, um, RPG preform, kind of hardcore style game. Basically, you're a house and power captain, you're trying to recover the resources you need to get your ship back, and it's pretty much, it's got a lot of crafting involved. Uh, crafting similar to um, games like Rust, DayZ, uh, a little bit feels like Escape from Markov in a sense, just because of the hardcore nature, like you die, you lose everything. Um, so. You have to remember to manage your inventory, and that also means you know make, making sure you have storage boxes in places so you don't lose everything. Um, now, if you are playing this for the first time, you'll want to go to the Steam page, uh, to look up uh, UPL on Steam, and read the controls because the controls aren't apparent in this game. It is designed for a controller, so make sure you have your handy control like my Logitech uh, pretend yet. Um, and make sure that you keybind it. So a few of the options that you have, you have a new game, you have to continue for a game if you've done a previous save file, which we will be erasing. Um, starting perks, if you completed the game once, you get some perks options. We well, can go in and adjust your resolution. Now the resolution default to 1336 by 768 around there. So. Um, you can adjust it up to 1920 by 1080 or 16 by 900 or whatever. Gamepad config where you can go in. You'll have to mess around with this. I've already got it set to my configuration from last time, so when I was doing my tests. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into the game and uh, thank you to Elicious Gaming for giving me the key. I appreciate it very much. Um, and for those of you who are watching the stream and are like, did you try to do this a few days ago? Uh, I just want to let everybody know, for the people on YouTube, I tried a few days ago, of course I had some technical problems with the, um, the game capture, so it took me some time to figure it out. I actually had to go back and use old settings to make sure it worked right. Alright, so let's go new game. I'm going to let the initial cutscenes play out because I want you guys to see this. A famous pirate used to roam these seas. What was his name? Now you get like eight spaces there's there about so they say our pirate's gonna be called our star I could use the dread pirate armory but our star's cooler and the, if you played the game before it gives you the option to skip the intro but we're gonna play the intro I want you guys to see it I'm not gonna read it I'll just let you guys watch it it's a pretty funny cutscene So this is sort of like the Pirates of Caribbean type thing, where you get thrown away by your first mate, and then you have to get your ship back, so this is sort of like, you know, having to get the Black Pearl back. Only I don't think the uh, crew is a bunch of skeletons, or undead. Morgan the Mutineer. Now, your character is the one all the way on the right, so, but... He's pretty, he's a pretty badass for, you know, a captain. Right, so Morgan's like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna toss you overboard. And you're like, yeah, you're real swine. And he pulls out two pistols, like... The Island of Treasure is basically like the goal to find all the treasure. He's like, yeah, you ain't gonna take me. Okay, there's like, what? Eight against... Nine against one? Well, watch what happens here. He's like, he takes out a couple of them on the way out. He's like, uh-uh. Then they row out and power bomb you onto the island. Screen shake. That's why I said it's a power bomb. So now the game did get updated to the time I got the first key, the when I got the key, and now so there's this little character right here next to this box. It's like a little mini quest to help get you started. The Red Dawn. So yeah, read these tips if you have it for the first time. 
and it tells you basically you gotta craft stuff, look for supplies, how to respawn. The compass on the right hand side kind of gives you directions to stuff and it shows what might be available on the map. Yeah, and swimming is real hard in this game. If I'm going too fast, just, um, but if they're in the live stream, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for you guys, but some of this kind of bounces on its own. Some of it's button presses. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is collect up all the stuff. Now, I have noticed because I have to run this the old way, and by the old way, I mean like the... The way I had it set up before, to, uh, when I tried to stream it last time, it's, it gets a little choppy, unfortunately. So if you're seeing it stutter, that's actually the game. It stutters a little bit when it first starts out, and then it picks up after a bit. Alright, I should have enough to craft my first item. Not yet. First thing you want to do is craft an axe. Oh gosh, I don't want to fight that thing yet. Now the, I, unfortunately, the game doesn't have an option to like lower the FPS, so like it runs at 75. Which is is my refresh rate, but that's why it's a little choppy. I mean that, but I had to do an OBS to get it to run. So it does, when I'm playing it without streaming, it does run better. Like I said, it'll, it'll simmer down a little bit, so I apologize about the choppy. Oh good, I got a flag, so I captured, I captured the location. Okay. Can I craft the uh, item now? There we go, I got Max. Yeah, the game is actually pretty fun. Um, it's a little... Because of the hardcore nature, you have to remember not to die too fast. Alright, I gotta talk to this guy. Well, he's like, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, now you gotta build yourself a raft. That's why you wanted to craft the axe first so you can cut the trees down. And you need his you need his box because the storage. You won't get too far without it. In fact you'll lose all your stuff if you die. You don't wanna die. I waste the bullet. It's starting to get dark, so I want to make sure I get this done. Chop down all the trees, get the wood, make the raft, and then get
get underground. Cook some food. And basically any meat and scraps that you find, you cook it to turn it into food, it works better. Typical thing in a lot of crafting games. This is sort of like it's sort of like when you play Don't Starve together. Or don't starve, that's the same thing. If you cook the food, it's better for you and it lasts longer. So the same thing applies in this game. You want to cook the food so it lasts longer. I'm not ready for that yet. I need to get the other stuff first. There you go. Oh, I got a shovel. He said he wants a shield. So, I don't know if I have a shield. But I need that shovel because I got I got to dig in the sand up top. And it is a weapon. Oh, I got a whip and a pirate's head. Cool. Put that pirate's head on. I think the pirate's head works is more powerful. Yeah, more defense. Better chance to use your pistol too, or your sidearm. Sorry, I'm I'm used to like military lingo. So like I when I think the sidearm I think of this one. Alright, so we got we have the first save. Oh what's this? Okay, this didn't this didn't happen last time I played the game. I got Davy Jones. What is it you like to barter with before this time? Locate someone special to me. Why does Davy Jones look like a clown? If I assist you with this, what will you give me in return? Tell me where I can find Moira, then I will do whatever you ask. The Ruby of Neptune, pirate. You have one year to bring it to me. If you fail, my undead army will scour the seas until they have your soul. Ooh. So he made a deal with Davy Jones. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Alright, let's go down here and see if I can pick the rest of this stuff up without dying to these freaking overpowered spiders. All this rum is worth something, so that's why I'm trying to collect it all. do not for a while so yeah in order to eat food to heal yourself oh okay random oh hold on that crap came back oh, I can't I can't attack him All right but yeah in order to heal yourself you have to go to your key items and eat one of your food items so eat food and cook food. Sounds looks like it could be dug up. Uh. What is this 
dude. Black Knight. Go make this. There's another dude there. Wow, he's beating that snake up. Nice. Who are you, man? Rum trafficker. No, not today, man. I appreciate the offer, though. First, we gotta put our axe back on. Yo, Pelin, what's up, man? How's it going? Sorry I didn't see that earlier. Oh, crap, this raft. I should be able to know. Yep. here. What do we got? Temporary shelter. I'm gonna risk going out here. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh, I can't swim anymore. Uh, need more food. Hey, you got a raft! Place it in the water. Oh, yeah. I guess you can take what's in this storage chest. Okay, we got the ocean map. But I want to heal first. Plus, I want to kill this crab, so. I want your meat. Okay, I'm going to try this again with the shovel. Oh, that's how you do it. You don't actually wear the shovel. You just have it in your inventory. Oh. Well, okay, I learned something new. Let's cook the food. Last time when I tried to stream this paladin, how's it look? Is it looking okay outside of it being a little choppy? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I finally got it going. I'm glad it looks it looks decent. Give me your meat, and I'm gonna rest up. All right. Looking good, cool. I know it's a little choppy on the on the map, but whoa, there's a big snake. I don't want to fight you. There's a little snake. I don't want to fight you either. There's a chest. What do we got? I don't want to fight any of these guys. I need some place where I can play with my chest in peace. Get back here. A little bit of ARPG elements too with the constant ability to fight stuff. Okay, did I take this chest yet? If not, I gotta try. Ah, yeah, lock pick and fail. Great. Chest. 
Oh, that's right, it's key item. Store! Yeah, we're definitely gonna store our stuff because I don't want to move any of this. Got space for nine more things. the raft, face the water, and do all that stuff. History of the Predators. Okay. And now this guy's gonna take a dive and kill himself. His body. Key item. Raft. Let's go. Oh crap. Not good, not good, not good. I accidentally jumped off the raft. Oops. That can happen. You have to be careful not to accidentally jump off your raft. Uh, Let's see if I can get the little snake and the big snake to fight each other really well. Stop chasing me. Fine. I need one more rope and two more wood. Oh, you mean like the, the predators, like the actual movie the Predator? Or is this something different you're talking about? Why do I need a stool? Let's craft all that extra rope and stuff. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we're talking about you talk about the same thing I was thinking of. Now right, let's do this again and not jump off the raft.
trying to look for a town. I know... Oh, this is shark. I know this town, the Port of Tortuga, is not too far from there, but... Hello? Oh. oh, wow, this one loads. Port Arbor, okay. This looks like a lighthouse. Oh crap, I crashed. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a water spout? That's a water spout. Um. Okay, that's cool. I need five more wood. Oh god, no. Or I can try to swim. I think I'm gonna go for it. Ah! I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Welcome. And now listen here, wench. Okay. Okay, a little bit of an error there with the uh, faces. Okay, I'm finding lots of items. <coughs> oh my god. There's just so much going on in fire. Probably yells Port Arbor. <laughs> trips thanks so. though okay I need to uh, I need to spend the night at the inn here pretty soon my character looks like it's getting tired oh, dude with the anvil what you got he gave me an item what did he give me Time is currently 1 p.m. Okay, parent, go. Check out the dude with the sword. Is he angry? Jewelry merchant is now your enemy? Huh? I didn't do anything to her. Ask for a wooden axe. Uh, sure. This woman can be wooed. Would you like to give her a gift? Oh, that's interesting. Cannons Gablarg, exactly. Oh yeah, by the way, Paladin, type in exclamation point Gablarg. Make clothes. I'd be happy to take some cloth off your hands. Okay. <laughs> you like that?
I figured it would be... I figured it would be cool to put that command in there, to explain what the morg actually means. Okay, I have to go to the end. My character keeps saying he's tired. Wow. Rent the room for 500 gold pieces. Okay. Rent the room. Yeah, make Port Arbor your home. The rescuers will bring you back here from now on. Nice. Don't worry, Captain. I won't tell the Royals you're staying here. Save the game. Uh, save the game, please. Okay. I was just being slow. Drunk. All right, let's go look. For oh, what is this? It's locked. Need some sort of special key. Task that someone needs help with. Okay. They need 20 cotton delivered to the Port Arbor stock box. Okay. I used up all my cotton though. Oh, what's this guy want? Oh. He's They need 50 sturdy ropes. Okay. They need 20 cotton and 50 ropes. Oh wow, people just spawn in. Okay, that's cool. What do you take? Got some weapons you want to offload? I mainly deal with swords, but I'll take any basic pistols that you want to. Okay. And I want to see the guy who does rum. I see you're a hat connoisseur. Cloth hat, sailor hat, pirate hat, that's what I'm after. Okay. Make sure I've, I've got my best stuff equipped before I start selling it. Okay, I gave the girl my axe, so I'll have to put the sword on for now. Pirate hat. What's better, pirate hat or sailor hat? Sailor's hat. Well, let's see. Well, no, the pirate hat gives you better luck and sidearm. This gives you better... You know what? I'm gonna hold on to my pirate hat. Pirate shirt, though. Upgrade. Golden ring or lucky earrings. Okay, well. I can sell the rest of my hats. So. out put reorganized stuff. That's a safe place for me to play with my box. Oh, there's a trinket of strength. Alright, this looks like a good spot. Pull out the storage chest. Hat away. I'll put the lucky earrings and the trinket away for right now. I'll sell this other golden ring if I can. Treasure. Oh. Oh. See, I want to make sure I keep my captain's pistol safe. Got arrows away. Um. Thank you. 
bullets. And the dynamite. The dynamite. I got room for one more thing. And Neptune's last words. The Dinamite! Let's see, what do you... Shields or trinkets, offload them here. Seventy-five, okay, not bad. I have to make a lot of gold. Oh, what's this? Cutscene! According to this book, some of Neptune's equipment is buried in ancient boxes. Too bad I'm not much of an adventurer. Okay. The book is written in a strange language. No, oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. What does this guy want? He wants shirts, right? Clothes. Sell those cloth shirts. Because I need to make a lot of money, so... The one thing I do know is you have to be able to buy a house. Jewelry merchants come to attack me, right? sell the rusted sword, but I don't want to sell the iron sword by ass. There's a lot of stuff over here. Yes, yeah, so this is where your RPG senses are going to have to take over. You're going to have to, like, look for everything. What's this guy do? I buy animals and monster animal and monster parts. Okay. I got snake skins. And a rat. Huh. Oh, I can buy a ship. You? Executioner. Keep acting up and you'll end up like this fellow behind you. Oh, boy. Oh, another rat. Why well, am I picking up a lot of random goodies? It's worth anything to pick up all these random things. Okay, can I check to see how much gold I have? bucket list. Destroy ten pirates, ten frigates, catch three rare fish, scavenge, skin two lions, five tigers, mine fifty metal, collect a hundred stone, chop down fifty trees, collect a hundred cotton. Wow. A lot of this stuff is really specific. Steal from someone? Rebuild North Harbor, reach Tortuga, survive monsoon season, discover the isle, and claim the Red Dawn. Okay.
What is it? Oh, there it is. I got 1300 gold. Ooh. I need a lot more money than that. Welcome to Magic Chest, matey. Buy a ticket to double your gold. If you lose, the jackpot will increase. Ah, uh, no. I'm not gambling. I'm not gambling my money away. What do you got, old man? Respectfully declines. Okay. I think I just realized I'm digging up a bunch of graves. Sell the rum. Would you like to purchase this property? Not enough gold. I need a house. Looking to buy shields. Golden ring, pirate eye piece. Cross insignia. Okay. Is that is it really that annoying? Okay, it is. Nice, right, so that's one downside to the game. It's got this weird scrolly thing. Oh, there's some wood back here. Some herbs. Oh, there's some wood over here I can chop down. But I need to make another axe. gold required for courier service. Okay, so you don't need to equip the tool items, but they can't use as weapons. Okay, that's interesting. What do we got? Hat pricing index. Okay. Well, you know, I'm starting to like this game. I'm really starting to dig it now that I've kind of figured it out. It's a little choppy, but I think that's just because of the way it's running. Because I had to what I had to do, so I'm not like too concerned with that. What do you got? Well, I don't want to sell my axe. So. I wish there was a way you could pick the specific item. Just the hats. Okay. I thought there was somebody here that would buy rum. So. No. Got a job if you're interested. You ever heard those strange fairy like critters that haunt some of the abandoned shacks in the arbor? Fairy dust. Okay. Okay, so I just gotta find some fairy dust. That sounds obscenely difficult, actually, but... What are you looking for? Can I sell you rum? No, you just want monster parts. 
don't think I have any more. Oh, no. there's ten more gold pieces. Alright, you're a weapon shop. I forgot, what was this again? Bucket list. No. What does it say? I need the items. Fifty sturdy ropes and twenty cotton. I don't think I have either. That's uh, not what I want. I got seven cottons. How many ropes do I have? I only have 18. I need a lot more cotton either way. Oh. You steal the rum. Pan, apparently. Just shirts, jackets, armor, clothes. selling here. A monsoon jacket. No. Much as it sounds tempting, I don't think... But, oh, that's the girl that I can give gifts to. Gold feather, okay. Oh, that's the guy that's got the fairy. I don't want to take your ferry just yet, man. And he ex he ignores me. He's like, I don't want to talk to you. Like a hole over here, but I can't get to it. Okay. Well, I don't have enough money. There's some, uh, a little bit of cotton right there. Eggplants, a hat. Okay. Uh, don't want to die. Joining a crew is a decent way to make money. The more places you visit together, the better the loot will be. Uh, this is the guy I can join to get loot. Different things are said to happen on people's voyages. Think very clear to yourself. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, I want to join the crew, but first I'm going to go stay the night at the inn. Huh. 
So there's a balance. If too many ones start winning, they overrun the place. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to waste the 500 gold for that. So I can save the game. Now there's gonna be a little bit of lag here. It did last time. Well, I think... Okay, so the game, even though it's not very graphically intensive, it seems to be trying to eat more resources than it needs. At least I feel like it's trying to eat more resources than it needs, that's why it's kind of chopping a little bit. Oh, there's... what's this? Oh, a bounty collector. Eh, yeah, greetings, peasant. Mustn't dilly dally, you know. Okay. So that's about the only thing I'm getting getting from the game right now. It seems to be trying to use more resources than it needs. Because of all the choppiness I'm getting on the screen. Right now. And that just might be because of the resolution, too. So, I don't think it's necessarily a problem. But, it definitely is a little inconvenient. Let me pick up the jobs that these guys have. Okay. Where's Tommy? Is the question. Alright, let's go join this crew. Hard worker, I see. Great. Wish you, wish you the best of luck with you, Captain Crew. I can tend to your wounds now, Captain. So chopped wood would really help a bunch. Collecting basic crafting supplies. They need 50 cotton. Okay. <coughs> Natives pass. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, it's a new region. Okay. Oh, we got a seal fur. Oh, what's this? Stuck in the middle of Machi territory. Oh, we got a ship. I can always grab them. What do we got here, though? Stimulant? A uh, stimulant? Great, we got drugs. There's a pistol. A flintlock pistol, a crafting recipe.
dig up some sand. Nice. Temporary shelter. Pieces of eight. Sand. A trap disabler. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't get a chance to do what I was hoping to do. Well, I talked to this guy. New recruit, huh? Some cooked food would do wonders for food morale. Alright. Trinket of minor strength. We're done! The Tortuga. Do you mind grabbing a few things? Tortuga! Oh, jeez. Strangers, please, it begins to ignore you. Okay. What do you, what do you like to buy? Port Arbor Rum. Oh, you're the rum dealer, okay. Let's sell this rum. Hell yeah. I want all that rum. 25 a pop, too. That's nice. Too bad you can't sell multiples. This is kind of annoying. Especially because I don't know how many rum I have. Okay. Oh, what's this guy want? People of the ocean. Listen to an old man ramble about the sea. I don't want to... I'll just... No, I don't want to hear it. Oh. No, that was quick. So you don't... You only have... Oh my god. I am making some money. Oh, I can go down the hole. Huh. Oh, nice. What's that? What is this place? Am I grabbing a few things while you're wandering? Uh, whoa. There's... Okay, the natives are restless. Let's chop a few trees down. Uh, eat some food. I think I need to eat some food. For the stamina. Can I talk to these guys? Oh no. Ow. That hurt. Sorry, Captain, we got a problem. The natives are unfriendly. Oh, nice. Oh, the natives are really unfriendly. Well, let's swipe a few things. <laughs> right? Oh my god, there's tigers and stuff here? Um. Okay, the natives and the tigers are fighting. Okay, the wild animals are really, really strong here. Star, run away. I'll take the scraps off of the boar. Oh dear God. I, 
I think I don't want to be here. I just want the body. I'm out of here. Oh god, I'm out of here. Oh boy. Oh, who are you? Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, Captain? <laughs> Let's get out of here. in this place? Huh. We're coming back home. Oh, there's some new stuff out here. Good, we got a cooking pot. We needed it. Oh, no you don't. How dare you? Oh god! is this. Oh, what the? That's that crazy merchant girl. I'm just I, I'm I'm part of a crew right now and I'm just traveling randomly around the map trying to make enough money to buy myself a home or a ship storytellers retreating what I got enemies and we made it back on we made it back to mutiny island so I was just cooking I'm hurting. Dr. Tortuga again. I have to check my items again. things like mermaid scales and golden wedding rings and stuff. Hourglass. Potion. 
Bushy Pearl. All right. Golden Wedding Ring, Golden Native Skull, Fairy Dust, Bushy Pearl, Mermaid Skulls. Okay. Nice. Right, so Fairy Dust. Uh, it's time to go back. Talk to the captain. These seas are wicked, I tell you. Snakes can be turned into sturdy bandages. Okay. Uh, we back on that weird island again. Back on that weird island again. Oh, what the hell? Why are you attacking me? So. This looks like it did last time with all the monsters everywhere. I need more. Whoa! There's a lot of piggies. Watchtower. I don't like this. Oh god, that tiger's blocking me. How do I get out of this? Yoink all the cotton while I'm here. What's this? No. Can we go this way? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh! Swamp or something. I don't want to go there. Some bears out there. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. <laughs> run away, run away. We're done for today. How do I 
go back home. Oh, we're getting good stuff now. <coughs> Down to the depths I go, watch these sails blow. Natives pass. Yeah, I seem to be stuck in a loop here. I got some new equipment, so. Let me go ahead and equip stuff. What does seem to you today? Not monsoon season, that's all that matters. Alright, let's dig it up. What we got? A ruby? Let's see what we got in here. The witch's hut. Okay. Scales of Justice? No. Magic Necklace? No. Another pirate! Where is Shugan fast about Island of Chajura? Yes. The Island of Treasure, my dear. Once the Royals discovered Neptune's text, word got around about the supposed island. I know the truth. Okay. So we're about to get a quest from an old witch. When you're ready, time will present itself. Okay. So in other words, you are not worthy. Get back here. I want your blubber. Clubbing a seal is actually worth it. Hmm. Harpies are swarming the region. Uh, sounds like I need to get out of here. Call you once we're leaving. If you end up sailing out, if you end up sailing out of the area on your own, they'll consider yourself kicked off the ship. Oh, this new guy. Nope. We finished the request to get the cotton. Yay. Tortuga again. Really? Inquire! 
I decline. Strange mirror. Really? I'm a way full. Let's get this tree out of the way. Lucky barrel? No, thank you. I don't want to play any gambling games today. Yo, Ida, what's up? <laughs> Why am I clubbing baby seals? Because it's a thing in this game. You farm the animals for the goodies. I'm getting a lot of stuff. Rest. Start the new day. How's it going, brother? Appreciate you coming by. Yeah, so far, so far this game is, I've gotten used to it and it feels really cool. Um, when you're in the overworld, though, it does get a little choppy. I don't know if it's because there's something with the game that's causing the problem. Like if you're trying to use more resources than it needs or something, but... Oh. But it's definitely a little interesting. Wow, that sword's kind of strong now. Oh, we got gold. Yeah. I don't know where I'm at in relation to where I want to be, so... I'll wait until, like, it goes back to Tortuga or, or something. Wow, I wiped out all those seals. Okay, let's see what we got in the sand. I, like, mopped the floor with those seals in one shot. <laughs> And the mechanics of the game still feel a little rough to me, but it's not for lack of trying to understand it. Can we, like, go back to Tortuga and Mutiny Island? I'll, I'll abandon ship afterwards. Again? What? Oh, come on, man. Why did it bring me back here? I've only got one temporary raft. I have to make stuff more. How to use the bloody map. Okay, I'm all the way down there. I want to go back to Port Harbor. Looks like if I just go south a couple of times. 
I can get back to Mutiny Island pretty quick, though. All right. So I'd, I'll just abandon ship then. I'll craft myself a raft and I'll go on my own path. ship. Oh! That's a spicy battle. There's a little marooned island there with a bunch of stuff. Oh crap, my, my raft broke. Ah! I guess it looks like it. Oh my god! What the hell is that thing? God's name. No! I just lost all that stuff. Like I literally lost everything I picked up in the la in the last like hour. <sighs> And I, oh, I lost everything. Like, literal everything. Oh my god, I gotta start over again? Oh god, it's, I forgot his reading. Cancel this? Nope. I can't cancel this. Okay, that's annoying. There should be a way to cancel this stupid thing. Yeah, this is really annoying. He needs to, they need to fix this so you don't have to scroll through this entire thing. If you hit cancel, you should be able to just get out of it. What? Can I get out of here, please? Oh, fine. If you're gonna make me fight, I'll just cut you, cut you down. I'm dead. money do I even have? 3,000. But I lost all that stuff I had, like everything. I need my own ship though, but I don't have enough money. This is butt cheeks, dude. This is like Major League butt cheeks right now. Yeah, won't let me kill the baby. <laughs> I suppose that's a good thing.
focusing our thought. Okay. Man, I lost like 18 pages worth of freaking gear right there. That, just, that hurts my soul. Well, if I had one. But, yeah, that's the price you pay. I should have probably stored this stuff a long time ago. I was trying to get back here. That was the thing. And I gotta collect all these resources all over again. Yeah, you ignored me, huh? Alright. Can I rob you? I got a key and some gold. A key to use to unlock guild merchant ships. Maybe this? No? No? It was worth a try. That's a hell of a swim. Don't want to risk the biscuit. I barely managed that before I drowned. <laughs> Stranger mentions the local shipyard. <laughs> 6 p.m. Okay. Well, at least I can still get items here. I just have to look. Gotta make money somehow at this point. I'm gonna sell everything I find. What's this? I can craft one, that'd be better. Nothing. 
How much money do I have now? <laughs> I'm 40 short, guys. Jesus. I need 40 gold. Let's see if selling that cloth will give it to me. I know that one dude up here will buy the cloth. That should be it. That should be it, right? Man, this I wish the gold was easier to pull. Okay, five thousand six gold. I can buy a ship now. Or I can buy a house. I'm gonna buy the house. Yeah. At least this way here. I have a safe place to put the stuff now. Still only fifty, but available space zero, right? Oh, all the stuff that I thought I lost is in here. Nice. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh. Perk selection. You have eight pirate points. Find additional gold. Lower the prices when purchasing ships. Yes, please. Alright, so that's my eight points. Oh, hey, that's nice. I got perky perks. May Port Arbor your home. The rescues will bring you back here from now on. And I don't have to worry about the end no more. Let's rest it up. Okay. So, I have my chest that I lost. Well, look at those sheep. Those big sheep down there. Oh, they're gone. Oh, that's pretty cool. You just... Alright, so... What do we got? I got wood. Oh, there's, it's different matchboxes, okay, there's like a set, oh, I see. Let's see, I want to save at least one of those, one of those, save that.
Okay, so now we know I broke I broke AF, but hey. Huh? What was that hard? Hey, what are we selling? What? Oh, so I can't sell you the boar skins. Oh, you suck. Alright, but yeah, I'm, I'm like broker than broke right now, so... Nothing to sell to you. Did I already get your job? Okay, so apparently if you take too long, these buggers call the guards on you. Well, isn't that special? I did not know this. Metal bucket helmet. Oh, I just killed a guard. Yoink. Yeah, nothing bad can happen to me for killing the guard, right? I mean, I'm a pirate after all. Defense, but you lose luck and stuff. I don't know. I Dirty frying pan, great for whacking when you get more luck, but you don't have a lot of I need more money. What's this? Amazonian cap? Joker. Okay. Oh, so I just have to wait until it's dark. Okay. There's no problem. Well, so far, guys, what I think of the game, um, once you get used to it, it's actually kind of fun. It's a little weird. For sure. Um, yeah, the hardcore mechanic is definitely hardcore. You do lose everything if you die, so... You have to remember, making money's a little rough when you first start out. Oh, this guy is selling a boat? What is this? Making money's a little rough. Like, the only way to save the game and make sure you recover is that you have to go to an inn, you have to go to shelter, which I haven't done, but I know the shelters do the same thing. And, uh... Or you have to buy a house to get a ship.
trying to wait for it to get dark out so I can give this give this guy his freaking uh stuff. Treasure nearby. Let me see if this cotton down here is available. Mm -hmm. eh. He's like, oh, don't bother me. Seems like there's some graves here. Uh, as I tell, I don't have a shovel anymore. I lost my shovel. come to attack you. Oh, uh, don't stay in the house. The guard will keep coming. Is this my quest target? supposed to find him here, right? That's what the quest book said. Where's this bloody farmer at? Am I just dumb? Do I just have to wait for him? What kind 
time is it? Yeah, it's like in the it's like four o'clock in the morning. Or is this the wrong building? There's anything else looks like a pub though. hours in guys I'm gonna Okay. So yeah, like I said, my thoughts on the game, it's not horrible. There's like, there's some depth and some interface issues that could be improved. A couple of those things like the scrolling could be sped up somehow or allow you to cancel them. Instead of scrolling all the way up like that, that was a little bit annoying. Um, like I said, the hardcore aspect really makes you pay for it if you don't remember to store your stuff on the regular. Uh, I don't know how many boxes you're allowed to make. I don't know if you can put boxes in different islands and whatnot to store stuff. I hope that'll let you do that. I'm gonna try that probably at some other point. Um, like I said, the, lag, the, the fact that the game doesn't tell you the controls is another issue. You actually have to look it up on Steam. It's not like a huge problem, but it'll be helpful if it said when you loaded the game, like, if you like went to the options, like it would actually show like keyboard control in and um, controller key mapping. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't hold your hand very much otherwise, though. So you really do have to, you really do kind of poke around a little bit. To have to find stuff, so. And the fact that those temporary rafts don't seem to last too long means that you can end up drowning a lot, so. That might. This would deter people who aren't into, like, survival games. This is basically a survival game. And the way, the best way for me to put it, so. If you've played, like, Don't Starve Together, you played Rust, Daisy, stuff like that that makes you build things and farm stuff and craft it. Um, the RPG elements are nice. Uh, they said the fact that you can buy a house or a ship in the game to like work on stuff, and you can join a crew to make money, which is actually kind of nice. So that helped out a little bit. But the money making is really rough and early going. And, like the loot that you get, there's not a real finding a port is going to be the hard part. Like it tells you like one port's like this way, another one's kind of the other way. If you stay on Mutiny Island long enough, you'll eventually hear people talk about it, but... Yeah, it's, uh, really unforgiving, like, that Kraken I ran into. Like, I had no chance to help with that. I mean, you have to float around on a raft or a ship eventually, but if you do it, then you end up paying for it pretty good, so... Um, but yeah, like I always do with these games, uh, first off, a bit, thanks to uh, Elish's Gaming for giving me the key. Appreciate it. Um, and like I said, you guys can type exclamation point mutiny in the chat, which I will do right now myself. But you guys can type it in for the next couple of days. I'll keep the notification on the back as well. But you can check out the Facebook page that they're using for the website as well as the Steam link. It's uh, $7.99 on Steam. Um, it says definitely not for everybody though. I don't, I don't know. There's nothing in the game that would prevent me from recommending it. Uh, there's a couple things I think that really need to be fixed from a gameplay standpoint, or just improved because the inter the interface needs to be improved. It's a little awkward. Is the best way to put it. It feels like it 
feels like the older SNES and NES games where the where the manual was awkward because the systems couldn't handle the way the manual worked. But uh the overall, like I said, it's not a bad game. It's, it, it definitely gets you kind of drawn in. It does draw you in because you want to like work on that stuff. Uh, that whole thing with that ship that I was on, though, it going to the same island twice kind of bothered me. If that's an RNG thing, it'd be nice if you were on a ship and actually returned the whole port once in a while. Like you actually went back and said, "Okay, well, you know." You, it, it runs you like a certain number of jobs. Like if that went like 10 or 20 jobs and then it dumped you back off, back in Port Arbor and said, okay, we're done with you. Jumping off of the ship doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, I don't know, I, had, I didn't try it. But yeah, seeing the world kind of like interacting around you, like seeing like, like I said, instead of harpy swarms, um, the ships fighting each other while you pass it by. I mean, that's all really cool. So the, the world is dynamic and everything's moving around. So that lets you know that, you know, it's got a sense of life. So that's a, that's a positive for the game. It's got a sense of life. So. Yeah, everybody who's uh, joined me lurking, watching on Twitch, thank you very much. Everybody else is going to be watching this later on the mod. Um, yeah, leave, leave a like and a comment on the appropriate uh, video service I'm going to be posting it on. And like I said, get, you know, go go follow go follow Elishus. They also have a, a Twitter that I put in that command as well. It's uh, at Elishus Music. So yeah, go, if you pick up this game, go follow them. Go drop a you know follow on their Facebook page. And uh, yeah, that's going to end this portion of my stream. And thank you all very much.